So here's the Flerk setup GUI. You can download that from their website. And I see they've now updated their controller description to Kodi. It used to be XBMC. So, and this remote has a lot more buttons. You can see here's the buttons for Kodi. And I went and tried to uh, program this up. It works fairly well. One thing I found that uh, is kind of handy is if you go to the support page, they talk about the controller presets and they go through a, a pretty good description of what all the key programming settings are. And here's the XBMC or Kodi version and they list all the on-screen buttons versus the key presses that are sent. So that you've got the Kodi controller. But one of the tricks I found is that you don't have to use only one controller. You can use this one to get the bulk of the Kodi commands, but there are other commands that would come off of a full keyboard and the way you find that out is this is the Kodi keyboard controls page you can see that here what I found is like the shutdown button that says page down I noticed that doesn't work on a Raspberry Pi it basically doesn't do anything page down does page down what I see here is the shutdown menu. So that's actually S. So that might be a better one to use. So I was thinking I would like to fix that one. The shutdown info works. Here there's no EPG or screen like that. You have closed captions or toggle subtitles. That one might be an interesting one to get working I like so I've I've got my remote pretty much set up with all these keys and the way you can check that is fire up your command prompt and you want to go to your program files slash flirk directory and then you have to run the command here and it will show you then the currently assigned keys so what I need to do is I have to go here okay so I've already got that assigned to something so what I need to do is erase power so now I'm, I'm pressing the power button on the remote up here so now I want to okay so that that's what I had done before so yeah I don't want to do that what I want to do is go to the full keyboard and now I want to do the S key for the shutdown menu and then I want to do the E button for the EPG and I'm gonna use the EPG button down here so if you can see that off to the side okay so I've already got that one so I need to cancel so I have to erase that button now I want to program that button so I go there so there I've done a few others okay so let's see how that works now I'll try uh, plugging the flirk back into my Raspberry Pi and see how those buttons work Okay, so let's see here. I've, I know this program has some subtitles, so I can hit the teletext button. And now I get, there's subtitles. I can turn that off. I can hit the information. There's the info menu and off. Here's the context menu. The main screen. And then here's the CPU info. It's basically a debug screen that pops up shows you the four CPUs, shows you the MPEG-4 decoder, audio format, all that good stuff. So that's all there. And let's stop that. I'm going to hit the EPG. Look at that. So I can, one button, I can get to the TV program guide. So 
yeah, this just shows you that you can mix and match the FLIRC controllers. So you can use the Kodi or XBMC controller to get the bulk of your remote working. And then if your remote has additional buttons, you can uh, have those programmed using the keyboard controller. The other one I wanted to do was let's hit the power button. And there we go. That brings me right to the power down. This particular TV is nice because if I click power off system, so I just told the Raspberry Pi to power down and it's now powered down but the TV is actually still running for about 15 seconds so that gives the Raspberry Pi enough time to shut down close all the open files and write everything to the SD card and now the TV goes off so that works pretty good uh, let's see I don't think I can turn it on I have to use the TV remote here to turn the TV back on and the other thing I can use the TV remote for is it's got the sleep timer because that's one of the other things a Raspberry Pi doesn't do is go to sleep. Here's the uh, sleep timer. You can see sleep timer uh, off. 15, 30, 60. They call these controller presets. So they, they talk about controllers have the correct key applied. Talks about here in XBMC the information and command is paired with the letter I. And it does mention you can switch between controllers. You know, so right here it does say you can switch yeah, I just thought I'd pass that on as a handy little tip, and if you found that useful, give the video a thumbs up, and if you have any questions about setting up remotes for Kodi, I've done a couple now, and uh, it's pretty straightforward. You might have to do a few back and forth iterations. If you have any questions on that, put that in the comment section below, and check out my channel, subscribe for updates, and as always, thanks for watching.